What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Hope you're all having a great day. I'm doing pretty well. Uh, I finally got around to making something that I've been wanting to make for a little while, and that is this, just above my head. Um, I reused one of my old laser tubes, I put some light in there, and hopefully it looks pretty cool and looks kind of like there's a laser firing behind me. Let me turn some of these lights off and uh, I'll show you. So there we go, you can see how well that lights up now. Um, I've taken down all the lights in here. What's actually the light in me now is just natural light for the window that's behind the camera and there's two doors either side of me. Uh, so I've opened both of those doors and a few lights coming from them. So if you like how that looks and you wanna see how I made it, uh, stick around and uh, we'll get into it. All right, so I've got my old laser tube here. This is the first tube that came out of my machine. So the first replacement, as you see, this was made in 2020. So that's a long time ago. This is the wrong way around. This is the inlet and the outlet. When it's in the machine, it will go that way. But you know, with the way the writing is, it just looks a bit silly. When I've got it on the wall, it's probably gonna be right that way. So you can't see the writing. I might have the writing on. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, so what I need to do is, on this side, there was an accident where it's been stored and the little pin that you connect the anode and cathode to. So this is the cathode. Yep, this is the negative. The positive, the anode, that has been broken off. If I've got them the wrong way around, someone correct me down below yeah so that got pushed in so it got squashed against the wall but that's good because that's released all of the co2 gas out of this and it means it's just now a glass tube and it's completely safe for me to start drilling holes in and breaking um it's not going to be broken that much uh, because of that that is going to be one of the points i either go in or out of and the other one Hopefully, I don't have to, but there's a, a lens in this side with a hole at the end. So I can either drill or punch through that lens that's there, hopefully, and feed in through that side. I'm going to try from this side first. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Uh, and then hopefully I can just push the wire through there and it'll go in this tube. And I don't have to mess about drilling holes. If I did, I would more than likely go through this side because it's easier to get through that lens than it is through the bottom of here which is just a flat piece of glass and that's solid on that side so hopefully this is a happy accident let me grab some gloves i'll grab some tweezers and stuff and we'll pull all the loose bits of glass from around this end and we'll try and feed the um, ev wire through that way Okay, got some gloves on. Um, and hopefully, I'm gonna do this pretty close. Hopefully it sound pretty good. Oh, wow, that happened. <laughs> so that's how much this was damaged. It was just holding on by a little bit at the bottom. So that's the, uh, the lens on this side. It's a reflector, it's actually a mirror. Um, as you can see, that has got some dust in it. So um, over time, even without being in the machine and getting covered in the soot and stuff, inside the tube, these do get damaged. So I'm going to break that bit off there. Like so, and try and make that not a sharp edge. Just got a sanding block with some 80 grit on there.
think that should be okay. I'm going to take the glove off and just gently go over it. Yeah, let me get some. I can get my hand on. Sharp bit on the top. It's not super sharp, it's just a bump. Much better. I am going to clean this up so any dust that's inside this tube now will be cleaned out and then all this junk on the end is going to get cleaned out. So it look quite clean when it's done. I'm get my glove back on and move this glass to one side. Probably use a standing block, safe this way, so I'm not touching it. I will clean and hoover all this later on because cats do like to jump on this desk. Right, so that's perfect now. I can get my EV wire through there. E-L wire, sorry. I keep saying E-V wire, it's not. E-L wire. That's what this stuff does. Yeah. Yeah, man. So I will need to measure this and then cut it to size. I wanted, in my head, it would have been pretty cool if I could get it through the water pipe, you know, where it coils at the back. That's not the bit that lights up, so it wouldn't look as authentic, but it'd look pretty cool. So, uh, let me see, can I feed it through? There. No, that tube's too small. So, should be able to just feed this all the way through nicely. Come on. The fact that this has been sat coiled up for years waiting for me to actually do this is uh, causing some issues. So that is near the end. And now we are at the end. Like so. So if I press the button. There we go, it lights up. Let me turn these lights off so it's not as bright and then hopefully we can see it looking pretty cool. Light off. Light off. Might have to turn my main light off as well like this, right? There we go. So, obviously this is the tube. And then I'm going to cut all this excess off. You can have it flashing and you can have it slowly flashing. Which I think pretty cool in the laser tube um, behind me so it'll look like the laser tubes firing uh, behind my head and that's the whole idea of this so we get some lights back on we measure the length of this wire you could just cut this with a pair of scissors and it's fine I don't know about connecting it I've never tried connecting the stuff back to itself but I'm pretty sure you should be able to just wrap it around because this is just a copper wire running through a colored tube so yeah, let me measure this, I'll cut it to length, then we'll get this assembled. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go clean this out, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the bath, I'm going to scrub it with a, an old toothbrush and stuff, and just hot soapy water, and uh, clean it all up, come back, and then we'll figure out a way of mounting it. Okay, so I just hopped into Lightburn here, I designed a quick bracket for the laser tube and then just designed it in there. I didn't go through this whole process, I just sped it up and did the voiceover, just so you're not so bored watching this video and it's not too long. This process on its own was about 10-15 minutes in total. If you want the full tutorial, I talk about the tools that I use and the shortcuts and all that good stuff. If you want that then let me know, comment down below and I'll do a separate video on designing these brackets. But it's a fairly simple bracket, I just used the dimensions of the laser tube and I went from there and you know, nothing goes perfectly first time, it needs a bit of editing and then uh, yeah, it was a good bracket and 
I sent it over to Laser, cut it out, I'll show you assembling it and then mounting it to the wall. Alright, so we've got all the parts cut from the laser. Let's double check that these fit. They fit nicely on there. I found that with the curve of my laser, it works pretty much perfectly if I have the slots set to 3mm uh, for 3mm material and it, it just cuts and it leaves a nice fit. It's not too tight, it's not too loose, a little bit of glue in there. That would be perfect. I've cut eight of these when I only needed four. I don't know why, because brain, yeah. Sometimes it doesn't work, but sometimes it works well. I mean, <laughs> these work. Uh, okay, it's a little bit loose on that side. But like I said, these are getting glued anyway. But that was my idea, like I said, there was gonna be two pieces. And then the tube sits just like so, and be supported and it'll all be good so yeah fits quite nicely I'm quite happy with that so I'm going to glue these up uh, obviously just use my bond to glue them up and then uh, I'll pan the camera up we'll stick these on the wall we'll mount the laser tube on there and uh, we'll see how it looks So when I glue these up, I just put a dab of glue on the inside ones. So a little dot right there, dot right there. Come on, and a little dot right there. So that's enough. And I tend to not spray the activator until I've got the, place, the piece in place. Normally what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put the glue on one side, put the activator on the other side, then bring the pieces together. But that doesn't give you a chance to realign anything if something's not quite right. So if I put this in and I've got it on the angle you know, a bit too wide like that, it's not going to give me a chance to set it and make it look nice. So what I can do, because uh, I've got extras here, so I can sit two in the middle, because that should be a six mil slot, and that will give me the right distance and everything will sit nicely, he says. It's spraying out a bit, but it's fine. <laughs> All this as far as to hold the tube is not a precision piece. And if it annoys me, I could just make some more. So if you're worried about how much this will hold, um, a bit of context, I made similar brackets for my daughter to hang a wardrobe pole on in the old house. And they were basically upside down, so the glue here and these, the, the piece was it was a full circle like this and it was pulling down. Um, she probably had about 50 kilos of clothes on the whole rail before things started failing. Um, the, the actual bars themselves were bowing in and honestly the, the amount of clothes that kid had was ridiculous. So it's quite strong when you do it this way. Um, surprisingly strong. If I had some test rigs I'd test it out. I might do that in the future but for now I've not got any equipment to test how strong these would be with the pulling force and blah de blah but 
it's fine. It's going to work. Uh, so that's all assembled now. That's fine. I'm not fussed about this being springy at the front. I could have made a little plate to go on the front bit there, but I'm not bothered. It's just to hold a really light laser tube that's just a hollow glass tube, basically. So it's going to be way more than enough. So, uh, yeah, let's pan up. I'll get these on the wall and uh, we'll put the tube in place and hopefully it'll look cool. Well, that was a fail, wasn't it, Phil? <laughs> so I've just put these plugs in, I drilled the holes and stuff. I even put the uh, the envelope in to catch all of the dust, which you can hopefully see in the camera's quite up now, so I don't want to tilt this too far down. I'll show you in a minute. Um, it's quite a lot of dust in there. So I've just put these in and then had a look back at the camera and realized you can't actually see what I'm doing, so uh, I've tilted it up now. Now they're in, let me explain. I put this on a wall where Roughly where I wanted it. This is how I put all, all shelves. I put one bracket up where I want it. I use a small level to make sure that that bracket's level. I mark off those holes for that one and then I drill them holes, put the plugs in and then put the bracket in. And then when I come to do the next one, I'll use my bigger spirit level and uh, level that off with this bracket. Instead of trying to level both brackets at the same time and you end up chasing your own tail, basically. So these are four mil screws, perfect. The four mil hole kind of holds it in place. I do need to rerun this back in there, but I think it's going to fall out when I pick it up anyway. Let's get around that side. some lights off we'll have that flashing slowly the tube should be because that that's how they are in the machine that does look pretty cool quite happy with that um, yeah that's this project done so there we go guys that's this uh, laser tube wall art that I've wanted to do for a little while now um, managed to recycle the tube this was actually the first tube that I replaced in my 50 watt laser so it's a little bit special and I don't know I got kind of lucky with how the the end broke off this side and I could just run the wire through um, but if that didn't happen I was willing to drill a hole through the lens on the other side because obviously there's nothing I can do with it now um, in the future, I'd, I'd like to recycle more laser tubes. At the minute, I'm putting them in the glass recycling bin. Uh, I don't know if there's any companies out there that actually recycle the laser tubes themselves and regas them. If there is, then let me know in the comments down below. I'll check them out. I'll see what's going on with them. And hopefully, um, I can be a bit more eco-friendly with the laser tubes I'm using. If not, I'll keep putting it in the glass recycling because I'm pretty sure they are being reused for something in that sense. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, then please hit that like button, 
hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. You'll get notified when I upload new videos and honestly it just makes me super happy to see my subscriber count grow and it helps the algorithm bring more people to my channel which more people are here, more people that are enjoying my content, the more I'm going to make uh, so it's good for you guys, it's good for me, good for everyone. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.